Often when we are feeling broken and going through circumstances in life that make us feel helpless, we think that we have nothing to give. Mm -hmm. But what if there was an abundant life available to you because of your brokenness? Mm -hmm. Today I'm talking with Ann Voskamp about her new book, The Broken Way, and how we can find the beauty in the breaking. And it's so great to have you here to today. Be, um, I just had, I read through your book and I, I think I cried through your book. Um, I think a lot of us, as you talked about in the beginning of the book with your daughter and her little white paper heart and how, how it broke, I think we're all a little bit broken and we, we don't know how to operate in that. How do we operate from our brokenness? I think lots of us, we carry around an unspoken broken that we don't mm -hmm. even know how to articulate and... Um, how do we go ahead and move through the move through the world and find an abundant life yes. in the midst of the brokenness? And maybe where it's broken is where the love yes, gets in, I where the that. light gets in. <laughs> yes, and that's such a different way for us to think. Mm -hmm. um, you talk about um, you really talk about communion in such a special way, mm -hmm. and just like I don't think I'll look at communion the same. <laughs> Um, but you talk about the bread and how, you know, Jesus took the bread, he gave thanks, and then he broke it, right? He just, gave <laughs> it. he broke it. And I think we're desperate for yeah. connection in this world. We feel not only our unspoken broken, we feel deep aloneness. Yeah. We deal, feel deep, almost abandonment in the world. And what we're searching for is communion. Yes. If we can live broken and given out of the world through our own brokenness, in spite of our own brokenness, yeah. because of our own brokenness, we can find an intimacy and a communion, not only with Christ, but out into a broken-hearted world. Yeah, and you say the miracle is in <laughs> the, is in the, the breaking. breaking. <laughs> yeah, those broken loaves and the little loaves and fishes, yeah. as they were broken and given, they were multiplied. Yes. And as we live broken and given, in the midst of our own brokenness, joy is multiplied. Yeah, and that goes into um, being the gift. And mm -hmm. um, you talk about after the breaking is the giving, which mm -hmm. you just talked about, and a koinia. Yes. I loved how you talked about that. Just unpack that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> we think of koinia as fellowship, coffee hour afterwards. Mm -hmm. but it's much deeper than that. How do we come alongside each other and share in the sufferings of each yeah. other? That witness breaks brokenness. That koinonia is a deep intimacy with each yeah. other where, we, where we're brave enough to be vulnerable and real with each other and tear off the masks yeah. and be authentic with each other. And I think every day if we can say, I'm going to give it forward every day, G-I-F-T, yes. be the gift. Yeah. Not only out of the strong places in our life, but also to be vulnerable and give forward my own brokenness yeah. a bit, which allows someone else to share their own brokenness yeah. and us to find deep connection mm -hmm. in that. And we always almost think our brokenness disqualifies us and it, it can't be passed on, but in Actually, that sharing is... What do you do with a broken heart? Yeah. You give it away. Yeah. That's the answer which yes. seems so upside down, but we live in an upside down kingdom. Yeah. We give our brokenness, other people feel safe to give their own brokenness. Yeah. And there's a deep connection in that space. And in the, every day, just how can I be the gift in a yes. small way? Give away a bit of my broken heart, give away a bit of joy and find a much greater, deeper joy given back to myself. Yes, and fill mason jars and <laughs> go on a birthday giving spree. Just I, a gift that blitz your community, yes. your community. How can you gift blitz yeah. your community, which is just, um, looking for small ways yes. that you can meet a need. Yes. That might just be bringing someone a coffee or paying for someone behind you. Yeah. Small ways that yeah. just start to change the world. Yeah. And no one is disqualified. We Nobody. can all do that. And in our brokenness, there's small ways we can just reach out our hand and doing that. Yeah turns a light on in our own darkness. Yeah. And I love that. And I printed off your printable uh, yeah. for this month, Be the Gift. And you have such great resources <laughs> on your website. But this just encouraged me. And there's a little pocket one too that to stick in my purse and just to remind me. Every day, what's one small yeah. prompt? And I think this is a great thing to go ahead and put in the fridge. Yes. That we can go ahead as a family. Yeah. And it teaches our kids that, you know what? We've been given so much. Yeah. We can go ahead and give back out to the world. There's deep joy in that. And sometimes we just don't even know what to do. And if there's a simple prompt, yes. it just helps, it helps us to remember, I've got so much joy joy to give that I can receive a greater joy. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we have to talk about this bucket because <laughs> bucket lists are such a big thing in our uh -huh, culture right now, uh -huh. but I love your your perspective on buckets and empty poured out buckets are actually the fullest buckets. Exactly. When I, I get to that. The, when I get to the end of my life, I don't want a bucket that's full. I want a bucket where I poured yeah. everything out and find out that actually in the pouring out, I'm the most fulfilled. Yeah, <laughs> that would make me cry my eyes out. But it's true because we do think we have to keep filling and filling with stuff for ourselves. But... No, but we are filled with the riches and the abundance of yeah. Christ. And as we pour out, we find that he only fills us up with more and more yeah. of himself. Yeah, so an empty bucket, it's a is good the, bucket. It's the best bucket list <laughs> yes. to have. Okay, we have to talk about this too. Uh, um, and I went to the store and I got some wheat kernels <laughs> and I'm going to keep my jar on my desk. But what is the wheat kernels? Yeah. What is this all about? So, if the Lord... 
gives you the grace of 70 years. That works out to about 25,550 days, which equals about four cups of wheat. That's 25,550 okay. kernels in your one jar. Yeah. We're each given a container yeah. that's the entirety of our lives. We just don't know how big that container is. Yeah. We take each of those days and we live broken and given. Mm -hmm. Plant that seed into the earth. It looks like it's dying, yeah. but it actually will yield a far greater crop. So the life that yields the most yields lives broken and given. Yeah. And actually then you're, you don't have, you're not left with one jar for life. You might have a thousand yeah. fold, it just multiplies, multiplies yeah. over and over to live broken given. So that sits in yeah. our windowsill to remind us every day, how can I just take the seed of today and be broken and given so I can actually yield a far richer, more abundant life. Yeah, I love that. I love that. My jar is going to go somewhere <laughs> where I can be reminded of this every day. Thank you, Anne. I wish no. we could talk for hours and hours, but I'm oh, no. um, just you. thank you for just your words. I, you know, you talk about, you know, being the gift and, and you are a gift. Oh, and so thank, thank you, you for too. how you have filled us in encouraged us to live out in our brokenness. I think that that's just revolutionary for, for the people watching and for our, our world right now. We need to, we, to live this in our It can be a revolution yeah. where it changes a culture. One person yeah. can change a culture just by being broken and given every yeah. day. Incredible. Thank you, Anne. Yeah. Thank you. You have to read this book. It'll challenge you and transform your heart. And you can pick up a copy in our e-store at 100huntley.com. And for more of all things Anne, make sure to visit her website at annvoskamp.com. Mm -hmm.